Hi guys, so really quick before we get started, I just wanted to say thank you so much for being here. Please hit subscribe, like, and leave me a comment. Let me know what's going on, what what you think of all this. Um, so I just wanted to preface, um, before I play the clips of Foodie Beauty's Rage, I just want to say I have never thought about going real life in any situation, nor would I, you know, ever even come up with that. But um, I think it's just really rich of Chantel to never address the rage that she went on, where she literally said afterwards, I'm not going to apologize because I'm not going to mean the apology. Like, that says so much about someone's character to the point where it's really hard for me. Being an empathetic person, it's hard to even empathize with her at this point. Um, so yeah, in this clip, she's going to be deflecting. She's going to say she has a right to privacy until, of course, she goes on and trauma dumps everybody once Natter leaves her, right? So her behavior is directly correlated with how Natter treats her. If he rejects her, she becomes hateful and dumps on her audience because they're the only ones who will be there and listen, right? So again, this is kind of an abuse of power. It's an abusive dynamic. And yeah, that's, those are just my observations, guys. Um, and yeah, let me know what you guys think once again. Thank you so much for watching. And here's the clip of her rage. Well, Matt, um, where I've been all day, I'm entitled to a private life. Don't you agree? So. She's been at your mom's. <laughs> been at your mom's. Um, if uh, I don't want to talk about where I was today, I don't have to. That's it. That's all. I am mega screwed. COVID. Oh, fuck. Shut the fuck up, Jamie, stupid carpenter. Uh, these people are blocking tonight. You're not coming back. So, if you piss me off, bye. I don't need your negative bullshit here. I am entitled to a fucking private life. Thank you very fucking much. And people calling hotels to find out where the fuck I am. Hi, Sofa King is illegal and it's illegal for a hotel to say an entire person's name and their room number you fucking psychos you know that and you're all gonna pay for that every person who does that is gonna pay and that's all i'm gonna say and it's gonna be behind the scenes so you don't get my attention vampires bye parasites bye and i don't need vibs parasites because a lot of you are fake ass fuck in here too and you can leave <laughs> double face as they say a lot of you in here period monica period five left i don't give a shit five strong bye <clears throat> oh you're not getting a rebeez jana but i won't block you but you're not getting a rebeez don't owe you where i am i don't owe you explanations on things i don't want to fucking talk about okay and because of that you don't have a right to bully me over it you don't have a right to a life, my life, behind the scenes that I don't share with you. You don't have a right to that. You don't have a right to call. Even fucking, I, I was so happy to see French fried girl fucking saying what she did. Like, you know, Maria Diaz, thank you. I'm sorry. I'm not taking your shit anymore. I'm not taking your shit. Yes, I'm dying of COVID. I'll fucking rant. I'm sorry. Like, that's some straight up shit. Like, that's some just disgusting stalker harassment shit <clears throat> i can afford to lawyer up guys so i am going to because it's uh, i'm sorry it's not your fucking business if i don't like you're gonna stalk me like what oh my god jesus oh <clears throat> the time's up for the things that i go through in life some things i can't talk about some things i can't some things i don't want to and i just feel like the, like i need to have boundaries guys like i'm a live streamer and I put like my entire life out there and it's like, <sighs> oh my God.